is our new Gen 6 ZX10 turbo kit. Uh, it features a 3D printed stainless steel header in there. It also has a 3D printed uh, charge pipe. We do an alloy 3D printed charge pipe. In this case, I'm using a titanium one. That's an option in the kit. We use a Pulsar uh, 2860 turbo with a stainless steel exhaust housing. Uh, this has got a little air filter poking out the fairing there. This has got a three inch exhaust dumping into uh, the, it finishes at the, the point where the, the factory uh, header finishes. So you can run any aftermarket uh, muffler. In this case, we've chosen the SC project because it's the most open uh, open exhaust and it uses a, a 70 mil link pipe there, which is the biggest diameter that we could find. Uh, around on this side, you can see the Turbo Smart uh, Compgate 40 wastegate and the 3D printed dump off the back side of the turbo. So the, the 3D printed dump pipe goes down and links onto the three inch exhaust. We're also gonna have a, a left hand side uh, like dump option that will come straight out of the fairing. Not on this bike at the moment. Uh, and you can also see the oil pump in there. That's the oil scavenge pump for the turbo. So it scavenges out of the bottom of the turbo and it feeds around <coughs> and returns the oil back into the, the clutch cover via this fitting. The uh, oil cooler gets removed on this kit. So that normally has a big air oil cooler in there, but obviously that's where the turbo sits. So it gets removed and replaced with a, a blank plate. You can't really see it in there, but uh, we also have the oil feed coming off that. If you want to run an oil cooler, you can run the, the earlier 2016 to 2020 um, water to air, uh, water to oil, uh, oil cooler. Uh, I'll be showing that, um, fitting that in a future video. Uh, we've got a billet plenum up in the, under the tank, you can't see. And our uh, fuel system, I don't know if you can see the, the pump up in there. Probably not. No. So, um, it's got a, uh, we're using a can gauge on this one. which has got a input for uh, oil pressure, temperature, boost pressure and temperature. See that there, I'll give it a cold start to hear what it sounds like. So uses a turbo smart uh, compact blow off valve on the plenum. Uh, on this one, we are controlling the fueling by uh, ECU flash, and it uses a power commander for only for uh, boost. So we have a two and a half bar Bosch map sensor in the plenum, and it. Uh, has a pressure map in the power commander so there's no other settings in the power commander other than the the pressure settings uh, we're going to also do a max ccu mini version so the secondary injectors uh, will be controlled by a max ecu mini uh, the reason we're going to just use it to control injectors 
is because the um, if you don't if you control ignition as well, then you have track you lose all the traction control functions that come factory on these bikes. So we're just going to use the yeah control the 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 fueling um, by the the and use the Max Mini as a piggyback style thing. It just has a bit more control than than a uh, power commander. You can do more things with it, but uh, it is also more expensive. So that'll be another option. Thanks for watching.